Hello everyone, this is going to be a short video to demonstrate my program called Remsol. Uh, its name, Remsol, is basically a remote console squished together, which is exactly what this program is designed to be, a remote console for controlling and getting information about and doing a lot of other things with a machine that's not right in front of you. So I'm going to show you what it can do, uh, how to use it, and where you can get it. Currently, I'm releasing it as a beta right now because I want people to get back to me about what they think that I should add to the program, change, take away, anything like that before I release the Almighty 1.0. So uh, let's get to it. First off, run the host program, which is in its own little folder. All the settings are in a config file, which is just a port and password. The default password is password. Um, so we run the program, it runs in the background, there's really no uh, interface needed for this program because it's going to be running on the uh, server side. Um, so now we open up our little console, which is the client application. You can type the connect command, uh, my IP right now, well my little local IP, uh, colon port, and then hyphen password or whatever your password is at the time. So we connect to myself right now. Um, now I'm going to show you the commands and stuff that you can do with it and uh, how it might be useful. First off, disconnect, shutdown, and reboot should all be uh, pretty obvious what they do. All the file browsing commands like cd are the same uh, as dos. For example, Let's see where we are. We can type get path. That shows us what we're looking at. We're looking at the C drive right now. So let's say I want to CD to Windows. I can do that. I can type dir now, same as DOS again. And I get all the files and folders in that directory. You can see there's quite a bit of stuff. But anyway, let's go back to the C drive. We can set the path that we're looking at. Let's say set path. Uh, C colon slash documents and settings. Uh, and that takes us to the documents and settings, but I don't want to be there right now. We can copy files. The copy command is similar to DOS. Uh, we're going to go to our little test folder I made here um, and see what all is in there. I'm going to copy test.txt to our C drive. Just do the copy command. The name of the f uh, file that you want to copy, which in this case is text yeah, test.txt, pipe symbol, and then where you want to put it, c colon slash, file copied. Now let's say we want to delete a file. Let's delete test2.txt. The command is the same as DOS, again, uh, and the file is deleted. There, test2 is no longer there. So let's go back to the C drive. Remtree command is the same as DOS. Again, you can use it to delete a folder and all the files in it. So let's do remtree test directory deleted, dir, and there is no longer a folder called test. We can get a list of the processes running on the machine you're looking at. So let's type get processes. And that shows us all the crap that we're running. Um, you can kill a process that's running by typing, for example, kill, uh, let's kill xfire.exe, and we get processes again, and xfire is no longer running. Um, we can do, some of the things we can do, we can get the status of the machine we're looking at, uh, which returns the CPU speed, RAM usage, page file usage, and CPU usage of the machine you're looking at. And you can get the ping to it, of course, which is going to be zero right now because I'm connected myself. But you basically got everything you need to control a computer remotely and uh, start running some applications remotely if you want to see what's on somebody's machine or anything like that. For those of you that are thinking about it, no, this is not meant to be a hacking or Trojan application. This is solely uh, for your own personal use or to help somebody if they have like viruses or something you could use it to look at their machine and delete it remotely without actually having to go to their house or whatever 
Um, I wrote it uh, to control my remote file server and web server and all that uh, when I don't really feel like going downstairs to mess with it. But uh, now everyone around that wants to can use it. Uh, so f for now I'm going to show you where you can get it. You can get the program at www.bluespear.co.nr But that's all for now, so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. And you can go ahead and download my program at the site I showed you if you want. And if you have any comments, questions, you can comment on this video uh, or email me. You'll find my email on my website. And tell me what you think about the program, what you think should be added, changed, anything, your thoughts, whatever. But uh, if you find the program useful, please do tell me. I would love to hear from you. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed, and I uh, hope you find this useful.